Remember that one time when that guy with the purple fuzzy hat used to make videos? Ah, those were the days. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NRK. Today, I am playing the Shadow Plague, which is a new plague in Plague Inc. I actually haven't looked at it yet, but I've heard it's very good. This is in beta, so don't freak out if you can't touch it yet. And it's crap. Not controllable by me in any manner way, or shape, or form. Words are hard to string together. So I'm going to check this out. Um, I haven't uploaded many Plague Inc. videos for months, so if I'm a little rusty... <laughs> Shadow Plague added. This sentient mutagenic pathogen triggers a powerful thirst for blood in its chosen host. Can humanity defend itself against a powerful vampire attacking from the shadows? The following new plague type has been discovered and unlocked Shadow Plague in single player. That is by far the stupidest looking vampire I've ever seen. Alright, so I had to move my face away because it was covering all of Japan. So, today we are playing Shadow Plague. It is, from what I just read, a vampire plague, which seems pretty interesting. Um, I like the design of the little whatever this is. Uh, very similar to um, the Neurox worm in a way, except less wormy. I don't know, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's purple, so I'm already on board. So, let's give it a go. Uh, all our- oh, okay. All of our things are locked. Intriguing. This is gonna make it quite challenging. Um, so let's do... Let's do Aquasite. Um, Extremophile, and I think that's all we can do at the moment. Alright, uh, I'm gonna be doing this on normal because I have no idea what this is. So it could be in interesting? I don't know. I'm gonna call it Alucard. Anyone who gets that reference? Uh, something is waking centuries ago. Ooh, custom music. Centuries ago, a human close to death was infected by a sentient pathogen, the Shadow Plague. Buried deep underground, the human was slowly consumed and transformed. Choose where your vampire emerges. The Shadow Plague has fully mutated the DNA of its host into a being of great power. Now, driven by eternal hunger, it is time to rejoin the world. This time, humanity will fall. Alright. Lovely. Let's start in Saudi Arabia. Alright. Oh, okay. Holy shit. A vampire rises in Saudi Arabia. The world has changed beyond belief, but the vampire can already smell the blood of billions of humans waiting to be consumed and subjugated. Uh, so, so... Can you explain this to me, please, game? What is what is the coffin? Are we playing Warhammer now? What's going on? Alright, I guess we'll jump through this. See what goes on over here. We have no transmissions. One symptom and several... It's called vampires. Well then. Oh, a lovely little dummy has hair and fangs. Oh, that's nice of him. All right, what 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 do we do? That's um something that that has curiously made it way its way into my brain. What what do we do? Night Wraith. Vampire adapts to modern world and is able to feed much more stealthily as well as concealing their presence. It makes it harder for humans to detect a vampire. Okay. What's the one that we have? Bloodthirst. Vampire feeds by drinking the blood from its victims whilst they are still alive, eventually sucking them dry. Kinky. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm not even gonna try. Vampires gain uh, gain ability to temporarily mutate into a vast wing bat-like creature, allowing travel to nearby countries. Um, lair. Vampires are able to create a lair for it to rest in and heal. Also generates DNA. Infected population increases DNA. So, I... I think that might be the best one to go for right now. Uh, blood Rage. Vampire gains ability to enter a Blood Rage. Do we only have one vampire? That's interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm with it. Uh, we'll attack research slash military facilities uh, if present, otherwise consuming people for DNA. Okay, let's grab the Lair. What's this one? Uh, lair Healing 1 increases the speed at which vampires... Okay, vampires now can heal when in the Lair. Alright. Uh, we don't have any infectivity, but we have a little bit of severity. Increases the speed at which vampires can heal while in the lair. Sure, why not? Uh, I guess we'll grab the one which lowers detection. Other than that, there's not really much we can do. What's this symptom? Shadow Blessing. The vampire releases the Shadow Plague to help subjugate humanity. Victims develop severe bruising. Okay, so this is where we start the plague. But currently we have one vampire. 
I'm assuming if we start this, we get transmissions as well. This is very interesting. So we can make a lair. Okay, so this is kind of like the uh, colonies in Simeon Flu. Very interesting. Uh, vampire, get an achievement, sweet. Vampire creates lair in Saudi Arabia, hidden away from the humans. This lair acts as a base for the vampire. Here it can heal itself and uh, as well as generate DNA by conducting genetic experiments on healthy and infected people. Okay. So I take it this is sort of like a mix between the zombie plague and the simian flu. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't even know what I mean. Uh, your vampire can change the world. Your vampire is shown as the red icon on the world map. It has unique powers and abilities, so use it wisely and try to discover your world uh, in shadow. Uh, okay. Said cover, not discover, but we'll go with that. So, let's take a step back and realize what the fuck is going on here. This is kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it. We have one, like, hero sort of uh, character, and we spread the plague with the others. But I take it if we... If our vampire dies, we lose. That's what I'm taking away from this. I'm sorry if I'm playing this very passively at the moment. I, I just don't fully understand the concept just yet, and I'm not willing to jump right in. So I suppose we should start spreading the plague. Okay, we do have transmissions now. A zoonotic shift generates a virus infect, uh, increased infectivity, so I guess we can get these. This is just the only one we can get. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Uh, nocturnal, infected struggle to sleep at night increases infectivity. Uh, dark pustules. Cis develop and fill with a dark pus. Increase infectivity and slightly harder to cure. Vampiric awakening. Create an Oh, create a new vampire by temporarily producing toxic mutagens. Almost all infected will die, but eventually a viable host will be found. Reusable. So we can make a new vampire. Very, very interesting. So although we have... So, so that means that guy can die. Alucard created by Vampire. The Vampire releases a unique strain of the Shadow Plague called Alucard, which spreads independently from the Vampire. In infected humans have no idea what the Vampire has planned for them. Okay, this is... I'm, I'm digging it, man. Do we have anywhere else that's infected? Because a little thing popped up, but I think that might be from our Vampire. Alucard needs help from the Vampire to spread. Your disease is weak and vulnerable. Your Vampire must evolve and use its powers to help spread it, otherwise it will be cured easily. It'd be very interesting to have, like, a uh, sort of Black Plague thing, uh, sort of, uh, disease. Um, sorry, I watched The Last Witch Hunter the other night, and I thought it'd be really cool if... Because this is kind of fits into that mold, doesn't it? If you guys have seen that movie, that is. Blood Gift. Vampire visits hundreds of humans each night and marks them in blood, infecting them with his Shadow Plague. Sounds good. Let's do that one. Did the disease... Oh, okay. It just curled up. I thought it would permanently change. That would be thoroughly interesting. Okay, so we are infecting humans with our Shadow Plague. But yeah, this is very interesting. I like this a lot. The whole one sort of evil force controlling the plague instead of it just being a disease. I like that they're changing things up a little bit. Hopefully they'll actually release plagues more than once a year this time now. Uh, vampire is able to meditate and emit a Shadow Plague in a huge cloud. Tens of thousands of humans infected every day. Sounds good to me. So that should boost it a little bit. Yeah, we jumped up to 50. Okay, so with the powers of our vampire, we are actually able to push this thing crazy fast if we had buy the, up the, the right upgrades. Because look at how quick it's going now. It's crazy good. Very interested to see where this takes us. Uh, we could grab transmissions, but uh, it seems like our vampire's abilities are doing better for us. I take it if we buy the bat's ability, we can move him from country to country, which I imagine would be very interesting and useful. Someone was upset that I murdered them. So yeah, if we grab this, we might be able to move. So hopefully the infected infect each other. That's just, that's the only thing that I'm cautious about. Uh, we might speed things up a little bit. Yeah, this is very interesting. I'm very much enjoying the change of pace. Uh, vampire feeding attracts attention in Saudi Arabia. The vampire feeds by drinking the blood of its victims, leaving behind a drained corpse. Oh, drained corpses, sorry. Um, it is only a matter of time before the humans realize that they are dealing with something far worse than a murderous cult. So we should probably get him out of there. I think that might be wise if we remove the vampire. So let's move him to India. Oh, he's going to go a small radius. Oh, that's cool. I like that. 
Batmobile, I just got an achievement Batmobile, god damn it. I like that movement, that's very cool. Very cool. I'm digging it. Let's make another lair. Alright, so we've moved away from Saudi Arabia, so hopefully they don't notice that we've been eating people. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting to spread. We're starting to spread. This is very interesting. I'm sorry that I'm saying that so much, but it, it, it is truly amazing. Um, vampire continually se uh, secretes the Shadow Plague everywhere they go. Hundreds of thousands of people are infected every day. And what's this last one? The Shadow Plague erupts out of every pore in the vampire's body. Millions of humans are infected each day. That's pretty good. 14. 14 DNA points is what we require for that. Severity is a bit high. Um, I might need to grab some drug resistance assistance. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed there's little bat icons floating around the skulls. That's very cool. Very nice. So I think this would have to be the most amount of zooming in I've done in this game ever. All right, so now we have millions. So that should uh, infect India pretty quickly. And then we can just move our vampire along. All right, blood cult murders continue in India. Authorities in India are, are battling to stop the blood cult murders uh, that are terrifying the country. So far, no one has uh, been caught, but they claim it is only a matter of time. No, don't catch my vampire. He's a lovely, lovely guy. He wouldn't do anything to hurt anyone, except drain them dry. All right, very happy with the way things are going at the moment. Um. We're not spreading very quickly though, so we might have to start focusing on our transmissions. Uh, get get the actual uh, plague spreading by itself, instead of just the vampire doing it. Uh, blood cult leader tracked in India. Authorities in India have confirmed that they are tracking a highly dangerous individual who they believe is responsible for the horrifying blood cult murders that have shocked the world. Well, we need to get him out of there, don't we? Come on, give me a DNA point. I just need one. Let's move to China. Oh, damn, that blew up right as we left. Interesting. Well, then. Our vampire is indeed dangerous. Uh, ooh, shit, hello. Templar Industries reveals global vampire threat. The secretive uh, multinational defense company reveals that a vampire is behind the blood cult murders uh, that have shocked the world. Templar Industries claim that to be taking urgent action to defend humanity. Okay, so this is going to be like Zcom, I imagine. In which case, we're probably going to have to... Yep, there they are. Templar Industries activate military protocols, claiming that humanity is at risk of extinction. Uh, Templar Industries have activated advanced military bases across the globe to fight the vampire threat. Oh, shit, they have more than one? Well, then. How, how do I defend myself? What's this one? Uh, okay, so this is the ability to attack them. All right, so we might need that. Shit. Just letting everyone know, before the comments get goddamn assaulted by this, I, I'm i just testing out the plague. I don't expect to win this match. I will be playing again after this, uh, just to just to try and win. But we now have we now have Blood Cult. Uh, if a vampire is not under attack during Blood Rage, it enters a trance which lets it rapidly heal whilst feeding from people. Well then. Uh, mutation of adrenal cortex increases adrenaline and can trigger frenzied biting attacks. Blood rage becomes more powerful. Okay. So we, we, we might need to... Uh, there's no one near us. So it's only the vampire that can attack. Okay. I would like to create another vampire. I think that would be really useful. Okay, infected are in Russia now. This is very troubling. Uh, vigilantes in China fight vampire. People across China are forming groups to hunt down the v and fight the vampire whenever it feeds. Well, we're getting the fuck out of China then. Let's go to Russia and then just destroy it. Death to Russia. Templar working to cure Alucard. Templar Industries uh, commit to using their military research facilities to help develop a cure for Alucard. They aim to exploit their knowledge of, of the vampire to push research in new directions. Well then, shit. I would like to kill them, please. Let's grab another vampire. I think that would be very useful if we did that. What's this? Wolf. 
Uh, wolves susceptible to infection, increases infectivity, especially in rural regions and mutation. Uh, fomites, pathogen survives outside of the body, transmitted via external objects, increases infectivity, especially in arid environments. Ah, this is troublesome. Vampire awakening begins. Oh shit, I think a, va a vampire is dying. Vampire in Russia close to death. A vampire in Russia is being attacked by humans and is badly wounded. Unless it is able to escape, it will die soon. We need to we need to send that man back. Back to the future. Poor vampire. New lab to build in Alucard uh, in Canada to cure Alucard. Fuck, man. Right, we need to make a lair here so we can survive. Okay, a vampire is healing. A vampire forced to retreat from Russia. The Templar in Russia have forced the vampire to retreat for now. Summon other vampires to help. Evolve to increase the power of the blood rage and then crush the Templar. Okay, so it actually shows the health of what we're attacking. That is really, really interesting. We are spreading the plague. New vampire created in Indonesia. After killing millions, the Shadow Plague has successfully manipulated the DNA of an infected victim in Indonesia and has turned them into a vampire. The new vampire needs to heal up for full strength. Okay. We create a lair here. Sweet. This is fucking cool. <laughs> I like this a lot. I like the whole health bar. I like several dynamics about this. Um, we definitely need to increase the strength of our vampires. Um, so we need to upgrade this so we can destroy. Um, okay, so this is now for purchase again. Alright, interesting. So we buy that, and then a new vampire will come, and then we can buy that again. Understood. Oh, there's a cure lab now. That's new. Alright, I'm gonna move this. Oh no, we can't. Right, because vampires have short range. Gotcha. So how are we gonna do this? Hmm. I wanna destroy that, because if we don't destroy that, it's gonna... It's gonna cure... Cure us. Okay. Interesting. So we're just going to have to move one by one, unfortunately. Country by country. There we go. A new vampire created in UK. God damn it. <laughs> After killing millions, the Shadow Plague has successfully... Da, 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 da. Well then. Unfortunately, lairs are now very expensive. Alright, we need to upgrade our vampire murder. The Moida, Moida Vampire. Lab has been destroyed. Okay, sweet. Let's move our vampire. So pretty much we can manipulate this entire plague using the vampires. Very, very interesting. Templar prepared drones to target vampire lairs. No! I need them! Oh, the cure's almost done. Shit. Can you not? What's the drone doing? Oh, kill's done. Fuck. Um, I don't think there's any way we can genetic reshuffle. No. Um, I guess we're screwed. Hey. So, now that we know that this is a thing, that might help. Um, okay. So, we're probably gonna... We're definitely gonna lose this one. Cure poisons vampire in Australia. Okay. Interesting. So the cure is va is poisoning our vampires. Okay, so it's killing them. Interesting. Lair destroyed in Indonesia, the Templar report. Okay, so they can actually destroy them. Interesting. Well then. Vampire slain in Russia. Yeah, okay. Well, that's GG. You did a good game, computer. You beat me. Must have been a real challenge for you. Alright, we're going to try this again. Okay, so all of the genes are still locked because we didn't win. Uh, we are going to try this again. Keep it as Alucard, and uh, I think we'll start in India this time. So now that we actually know what we're doing, sort of, not completely, uh, we, we should be able to um, deal in a way. So... Um... So I think if we upgrade to get the plague now, and we boost that son of a bitch, that should 
do us pretty good for a beginning. I believe. Yeah, look how look how quickly it's going already. Alright, so if we keep focusing on that, it should be good. Um, I might actually start with transmissions as well, so the play can become somewhat independent. Okay, we're gonna speed up a little. Yeah, this is uh, this is thoroughly interesting. I I like the dynamic. Okay, so much I can do at the moment. How much are you? Ten. Ten till we get the full capacity. Um, increases the speed at which vampires can heal. Alright, so that would be useful later on, so we probably shouldn't grab that just yet. Yes. There we go. Alright, so we've got the last cloud. Uh, probably we'll need this, actually. To make it less detectable. Could be helpful. Could be helpful indeed. Alright. Blood Cult Leader Track to India. Okay, so we need to get him out of there now. 8 DNA. We'll need 9 total. Need one more. Give me wine. Alright, let's get the hell out of India. Alright. So we have left India. We almost immediately infected Saudi Arabia. So let's let's uh, let's go up near Europe because that's it's pretty much completely infected. Uh, no point sticking around. Yes, uh, we're going to need to grab medicine and whatnot just to cover our buttholes, unlike last time. Twenty nine DNA. Jeez. Uh, each layer built in a wealthy country will help the Shadow Plague increase its effectiveness in wealthy countries. Okay, so if we build a layer in a wealthy country from after we get that, uh, it'll make our plague freaking good. God damn it, Templar. Why you have to ruin everything I love? Alright, so let's move that to the UK and we build a layer there. So if we can knock these Templar dudes out, it'll it'll save our butts quite a lot. Alright, we need one more. There you go. Okay, so now we have a lair in a wealthy country. Yay! Uh, we're doing a lot better than we did last time. I will say that. Still not doing too good in my eyes. Uh, pathogens suspended in expelled liquid particles from victim, increasing infectivity, especially in humid environments. Uh, sure. It is spreading by itself, which is good. Uh, it's not spreading very quickly, though. Which is a problem. Cure lab built in New Zealand. Well, that's not a good thing, is it? <laughs> ah, shit. See, the problem with this is, unfortunately, I can't really do much with just the plague. I need the vampire. So we need to move this man, or vampire lady, towards these cure labs and destroy them. We do have the plague in India. In India, New Zealand. Started in India. Alright, um, water one is 17. I'm just trying to get the, the plague moving. Maybe I should just focus on the vampire. I don't know. I'm very torn. Maybe I should just focus on the vampire. Alright. Ah, this is troublesome. So these, these, these cure labs are, are, are what's ruining me at the moment. Oh no. Alright, we got one cure lab down. Now we need to... Let's pop a layer there, actually. And let's move down towards New Zealand. This is, this is interesting. This is a very interesting way to fight the cure. I never thought it'd be individually me attacking the cure. Alright, here is moving fast. Oh no, can I not get there? What is this heinous shit? Okay, there we go. 
Don't know why I was being such a bum. This is, this is fucking hard. Might have to be something that I focus on. Bloody hell, this is difficult. Alright, um... Just trying to think of what would defeat the cure. Um... I don't know if there's going to be anything in here. Our victims develop additional muscle mass and appear healthier and more attractive. Increases infectivity. Um, pheromone secretion. Auxiliary steroids uh, manipulate pheromone production, making victims more charismatic and able to easily mutate, uh, mutate, manipulate, and seduce others. Increases infectivity. Uh, photophobia. As the disease infects the brain, excessive optic nerve impulses trigger a severe intolerance to light. Increases infectivity. Uh, let's go that way. What's this one? Uh, Hyperdonatia. Uh, the teeth... In the infected grow and can uh, protrude from the mouth increases infectivity so this way we can increase the infectivity of the plague um so i yeah i guess we should have done it this way we should have involved the symptoms and uh upgraded our vampires to a to assault the cure labs pretty much i didn't really think about that uh option to be honest So right now, what I'm going to do is try and take out these cure labs, but um, they're spawning way too quickly for me to defend myself. I could get more vampires. I know a lot of you are probably thinking that, but uh, in the time it's going to take, it, it's I'm I'm pretty much going to just take the loss on this one because the cure is going way too quickly. So let's let's try and attack Korea and see if we can at least destroy that. No, they're too strong. They are very strong. No, no, no. See, there's no, like, a genetic reshuffle or anything, so I can't really get an instant defense. Jaguar bite. The in infected feel the urge to go and bite others on the next, specifically targeting the jaguar. Oh, it's, it's jugular, not jaguar. You idiot. Uh, shadow slaves. Uh, neuropathic manipulation causes severe behavioral abnormal abnormalities and eventually permanent psychosis causing infected to become slaves to the, uh, the vampire. Uh, blood sacrifice. Infected bleed themselves to strengthen the vampire. Layers generate extra DNA as more people uh, are infected. Uh, I'm just trying to see if anything like lowers the cure. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, the cure is complete. Well, shit. I barely touched that, that uh, Templar place. Well then, I am going to have to try this again in another video. Um, Alucard causes mass psychosis in victims. Well then, at least we got that. <laughs> Vampire slaves wage war in the Ukraine. Oh, okay, so we can... Uh, we can... Send them to fight each other, pretty much. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna spend some time playing this, try and figure out uh, some form of strategy. Uh, trying to figure out how how to get around everything. Um... And then I'll, uh, I'll be back with that. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry my uploads have been scarce. I do apologize for that. Um, I've been streaming a lot, and, uh, the last week or so, I got really sick and had a lot of problems. Uh, so I, w I wasn't able to upload, unfortunately. I know some of you have been quite concerned about that, and I apologize for all of that. Uh, hopefully now I can start uploading again, and, uh, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button. Subscribe for more. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye now.